Dwayne Veek spent 32 years coaching at Holman High, and after three state titles in as many sports, he'll be immortalized in the WBCA Hall of Fame. I caught up with Coach Veek, who took some time to reflect on his decades of service. Baseball was his passion as a young man, but it's girls basketball where he's made a lasting legacy. 32 years ago, the varsity girls coaching job opened up at Holman, and Veek stepped into unknown territory. It was rough the first few years uh, as far as uh, talent level. Really nice kids, good parents and all that, but, you know, they just they couldn't compete very well early on. But we made some, some good strides. At seventh year, we won the state title. Veek always admired how his high school coaches built relationships with players. It's kind of about the person first. They really got to know you. Maybe they weren't... Uh, always the greatest X and O guys, but I mean, my goodness, you know, high school coaches, they have a full-time job besides coaching. Veek was no exception, teaching math at Holman High, all while leading Viking girls basketball to over 400 wins. He says he wouldn't have been so successful if not for the people around him. Coaching comes down to having good kids, good players, kids that will play hard for you, that have some talent, and, and you got to have strong assistant coaches, that, and you got to listen to your assistant coaches. You got to have a very understanding spouse, and my wife was was great all those years. I mean, I was I was gone a lot virtually every winter, spring, and summer. 98 Jill Dummer made a shot here. It was one of those shots where, you're like, oh no, don't shoot it, and and oh, nice shot. He's slowly getting used to watching hoops these days from the bleachers, as he and his wife enjoy retirement. And when he looks back over the last 32 years, there isn't a single regret. You know, I think we we worked hard. We worked hard for the kids of Holman, and and I think we made a difference. And his induction to the Hall of Fame is set for September 28th at the Wilderness Resort.